Welcome to Code with Vinod. In this video, we will learn how we can read data from DynamoDB with the help of Lambda function. And uh, also, we will see how we can insert data to DynamoDB with the help of Lambda function. So, let's get started step by step. So, let me go on my AWS account and, uh, and uh, we will create uh, our uh, DynamoDB table. So, now I am on DynamoDB service. So, we will create a table first. So, let me take uh, test table and uh, we will check. So, here we will, we will give some partition key name. So, partition key is a part of primary key. It is a hash value that you need to retrieve item from your table and allocate data across host for scalability and availability. So these keys are very important. So we will give partition key and short key. Short key, let's say I'm giving class. So you can give as per your requirement. And I'm creating with default uh, configuration. So our uh, DynamoDB table is created. So let's create some item inside this. So create go on action. So we can do these uh, actions here. And let me go and create some item. So create two item. So I'm giving some values. Let's say code with node inside the name and class A. And here we have created single one values means uh, one row. So let's check how we can access this value from uh, a lambda function. So let's create a function. Uh, same I will use from scratch my dynamo db function so we can give any name and I will use python and then create now my lambda function is created so let's check the configuration for role so by default it is taking some role so let's check so we can create our new role and uh, we can use existing one so checking for existing one which is having capability to d to read the dynamo db so let me go up so it is my dynamo view function role so let's check this role inside i am if it is having policy attached related to dynamo db or not So let's check. So here, uh, in this case, we don't have any permission. So let's add the policy, attach policy in this role and search for DynamoDB. So let me uh, give DynamoDB full access attach policy so we have attached the policy and we can see uh, now we have two policy so let me go again on my function and then save it is updating now we have updated so let's go inside the code and here I have some code related to 
python which is able to access the dynamo db table data so let's first go on our dynamo db data so let's copy the this content so in this case uh, we are using same boto3 and we are accessing uh, the dynamo db uh, object and after then uh, we are making uh, the client and we are scanning uh, the table table name we can give as per we have created so what table name is this let me go up this is our table name test table and replace and it will give us the data so deploy it so it will return the response related to the all the data inside this table test so test one we will give so in this case we are not inserting any parameter we are just giving the simple static test click on test so here we can see we are able to fetch the item from our dynamo db table so second uh, we will see how we can insert the data uh, inside our dynamo db table with the help of lambda function so for this uh, let me replace replace this and we will uh, use some create item uh, code so in this case uh, with the help of client which we already created like this we are accessing the bot with the help of boto3 we are accessing the dynamo db and uh, then we will uh, put item so we will uh, apply this method on client client dot put item then table name so let me copy it and replace this one and here i will give our name and class save it deploy first to update the latest version of this code and test function update still in progress previously deployed code configure there is an error okay so issue is uh, we have not replaced our table name here so let me copy again and table name deploy and test and when calling one and more values for okay so in this case we have given name and can we have given duplicate name so let me remove this and save it deploy again and test okay let me check what is the wrong with this table we have name and class that thing is correct one or more par parameter values invalid type mismatch okay okay class expected Both are string. So response code is to. Uh, 
under so we have successfully created the item let's check on table by refreshing so here we can see we are able to uh, insert the item inside the dynamic gb table so thanks for watching so if you have any question please comment me in comment section thanks for watching please subscribe